Are Canadians fooling themselves? Is this classic Canadian treat, liquid gold as we call it, actually healthy? Yes. I would say yes and no. It's complicated. No surprise, mixed reviews. So first, let's look at it from an antioxidant perspective. There are 67 different antioxidants found in maple syrup. About nine of these are actually unique to maple syrup. You want antioxidants in your diet because they help your body fight free radicals, which can build up and can create cell damage. Another reason maple syrup is healthy is because compared to other uh, refined sugars, such as corn syrup, it has a lower glycemic index. And what that means is it's less likely to cause a spike in your blood sugars. And maple syrup contains minerals like iron, which helps to build our red blood cells, manganese, which is amazing for our joints. Maple syrup also contains minerals that have synergy, which means they work well together, like sodium and potassium, which help to regulate the fluids in our cells, and calcium and magnesium, which work together really well to contract and relax our muscles, which includes our heart. Antioxidants, minerals, and lower glycemic index. But now the fun stops. You have to remember, maple syrup is sugar, and too much sugar creates immense issues in the body. 58 grams of sugar for a quarter of a cup. What I always like to compare that to is a can of Coke contains 33 grams of sugar. So having almost double that in a quarter of a cup of maple syrup, that is a lot of sugar. While the health of maple syrup can be debated, maple syrup is a good option for sweetening recipes and it's preferred over honey or corn syrup from a nutritional standpoint for its higher concentration of antioxidants and minerals and in comparison, it has less calories. Now, who's hungry for some waffles?